YouTube. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. You know me, I'm Tom, Mr. Fix-All. And oh boy, what a great, beautiful day in Raleigh. Working on this fabulous home right here. And what I'm doing is, of course, uh, I rebuilt the mailbox and I've just put it in paint. And I'm getting ready to put the letters back on it. And I had to do a lot of work on the inside uh, of the house. Uh, a lot of doors were, you know, off center. They were binding and jamming. There were some holes in the walls, you know, from the kids and stuff like that. But if you want to get into the handyman business, punch list work is great because you can sit down and uh, put all hardware locks, change out locks, door thresholds. And of course, you always want to make sure your van has plenty of stuff in it. You know, that's the one thing I have to always contend with, is how much equipment do I always have to have with me? And you can see cleaning supplies, uh, mud, paint, you know, tools, blowers, vacuum cleaners, you know, workhorses, all kinds of ba different bags of tools, uh, air hoses, and oh, you just name it. There's just so much stuff that you have to have when running a handyman business, okay? But, what I want to tell you is this. Hey guys, how's everybody doing? The sun's really bright, so I didn't want it to glare in the camera. Okay, let me, let me just give you some quick information on how to stay busy in a handyman business. The big thing you've got to try to figure out is when you're in these big neighborhoods, okay, uh, they have chat forums. And I've been telling you guys about these chat forums, uh, like Bedford Moms, front porch, side door, uh, there's all kinds of different chat forums. And what they do is they talk amongst themselves and then they drop your name uh, around to their friends and their neighbors. And or if random people get on the chat forum, they can see the reviews of your company. <clears throat> well, what happened this morning, I'm working on this doctor's house and I get a phone call and a lady, uh, I answer the phone, a lady's on it and she says, yeah, I got your name from one of the neighborhood chat forums and you've got uh, some really good reviews. And I said, thank you, ma'am. Appreciate it. Yes, how can I help you? And she goes, well, I've got a bunch of items and I'm not sure from your name, Mr. Fixall, how much you actually do. So I gave her a general overview of what services I do provide. And she says, great. And I said, uh, and of course, her, the leading question is always this, is going to be, how much do you charge? And I tell her, I says, look, residential is $50 an hour. I book strictly by time. If I work half a day, it's $200. If I work a full day, it's $400. And I usually am pretty quick. Uh, I don't, of course, you know, suffer quality. I give you the best quality for the price. But the bottom line is that I find that that's the easiest way uh, for people to understand. Uh, instead of just giving a one price, uh, one time, sometimes one price is gonna get you in trouble because if you underbid, guess what? You got to stick to that bid. You can't, you can't go back and say, oh, I missed my bid and I'm off five hundred dollars. If you go by time, it makes it a lot easier, okay? That way all you do is just really book your time. Uh, I'm actually waiting for the homeowner to show up, so I'll end the video uh, pretty quickly here because um, we got to talk about the front door. He wants me to remodel it and uh, change all the hardware and everything on it. So I, I told him, I said, well, if we want to do that, we've got to do a couple other things, and I just wanted to get his opinion on it. But that's important is getting on these chat forums. They'll talk amongst themselves, and they'll sit there and and, and refer you all over the place. So I went ahead and set the appointment with the lady. She's already shot me the email, and I told her this week I'm really wide open. I've got four houses I've got to do, and I'll I'll contact you the second I, you know within a 24-hour period. I'll let you know. I'll give you a heads up when I can come out to your place. And she says that's great. And she and I said how much work do you think you got there? She said I think I got a couple of days worth of work. And I'm like okay, well great. I'll definitely make sure I contact you and uh, and I'll keep you in the loop. Uh, when I'm available, come by your house and take a look at your uh, items that you need repaired. Okay, guys, this is what it's all about with the handyman business is marketing is one thing, but, uh, you know, getting on these chat forums is very, very important because, like I said, uh, you know, social media is a big thing. Everybody, everybody's on social media. So you got to figure out a way to get in your business in the door through these chat forums and I promise you you'll stay busy because like I said if you get into one of these neighborhoods the one thing you want to always ask these people please give me a review on your chat forum 
That simple. Okay, guys, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. If you're not a subscriber, if you're a subscriber, please don't touch that button. Uh, give me those thumbs up, please. It really does help my channel. And leave a comment, and I'll see you guys on another Handyman video because I'm going to be working all this week. And, uh, oh, yeah, by the way, here's some important information. I think I got my townhome sold. So uh, they, uh, I've called the banker. The banker's already approved the loan for the lady, and it looks like I might have that sold. So you might be seeing me move, moving out of Raleigh, and I don't know how all that's going to go down yet, but I'll, I'll keep you I'll, I'll posted on that. It's got a, little, got a little while to go before that happens, March 31st when closing, but uh, uh, we'll see. All right, guys, out of here. See you later. Be good. Handyman business. Stay busy. Get on a chat forum.